Hello and welcome to the Arts Council of Ladysmith and District. We are here today at the Ladysmith Waterfront Gallery, which is located at 444 Park Hill Terrace in Ladysmith. And I'm standing right now in our gallery space that is housing our current exhibition, Abstract. This exhibition will only be available for a couple more days. It'll be closing uh, on Thursday of next week. So we highly recommend that people come in and view the work. We've got uh, artwork from paintings, watercolors. We've got pottery. We've got glasswork. We've got uh, fiber art as well too. And we've got some really big pieces this time. Um, we're actually gonna be talking about today one of the pieces that is really interesting and that you can see behind me. Um, we're gonna be talking about artist Pamela Jameson, who is located in the Cowichan Valley. She's a member of the Arts Council. And she's been working with these um, pieces of Yupo paper and combining them with mixed media. She has some really big pieces, um, including the one that you'll see behind me here. It's over 10 feet, and it is an absolutely interesting piece to look at, to be able to look at the different details that you will see in it. And we'll also be showing a couple of her acrylic paintings as well too. One of the really neat things about this artist is that she's starting to play with not only large scale work and working with um, Yupo paper, which um, some people may not be aware of, of, of what it is, but she's also starting to play with black light. So she's using a lot of um, paints that do show better under black light. And she actually has a piece here right now that has a black light that looks really neat as well too. Pamela recently graduated in May of 2021 with a BFA from Emily Carr University. And this is where she started to really focus on large scale work and working with UPO paper. Previously before that, she'd just been working on canvas, so this was a big change for her. The big piece that you see here is 10 feet by 60 inches, and it's using water media applications with salt and dish soap. And she really enjoyed how those sorts of mediums really helped with the creating the translucent look of the phytoplankton and her ocean creatures. As you can see in more of the close-up pieces, you can start to see where the water media comes into play and the different and vibrant colors that she uses. And they really flow, which is something that she really enjoys working with. The other great thing about Yupo paper is that what it's made out of, she's able to wipe away things so she's able to make corrections or changes as she goes through this process. Her smaller pieces are still focused on her theme of phytoplankton and oceans. And as you can see here, there is a difference between the two. We have one using um, acrylic paint, and then we also have another one that is using paints that really reflect nicely with black light. So they're fluorescent paints. And you can also see the difference with having the light on and off and how it affects what you're looking at in her work.